Good day, you're watching African Free Press Television. My name is Sam Adedo and Kui. We're talking points today. Today we'll talk about the fact that the Nigerian economy during Buhari's period uh, seems to have been a little bit bad compared to the short time that Oshibajo spent ruling the country. The Nigerian economy was said to be the biggest economy in Africa when it was revalued two years ago. But in 2016, Nigeria experienced the first year-long recession in over two decades due to the fall in the price of oil and militant activities on oil pipelines. There was no way to cushion that harsh effect due to the fact that the economy was shamelessly biased in favor of crude oil and other sectors, such as mining and agriculture. Compounding these problems, some major economic policy mistakes that were commissioned by the President Mahmoud Buhari, who ruled in the military, also gave some problems. The interesting thing is that Buhari has experienced a similar thing when he was President during the military regime in the 1980s, and he is apparently making the same mistakes today. The policy has to do with pegging of the Nigerian Naira against the dollar, which means exports will be too expensive and can compete favorably in the international market. At the same time, the dwindling number of manufacturers cannot produce cheaply enough to compete with the local markets, who are bringing in cheap imports that have been flooding the country. What's also interesting is the fact that the president was not even in the country in the depth and the darkest times of this recession that we experienced in the country. Recall that he was in the UK for the better parts of the first quarter of 2017 on what started out as a vacation but became a medical leave and what some called intensive care. The president finally came back in one piece though frail from what we've seen. He is soon to travel again for further checkup from what has been gathered so far has not yet been revealed as of this time. On the other hand, his Vice President Yemi Oshibajo has taken over since the President's absence. Oshibajo seems to have a more progressive outlook on the economy as he has put some reforms in place that would encourage foreign investors to do business in Nigeria. This is supported by the fact that he has allowed the Naira to start moving contrary to the pegging that the President encouraged. Oshimbajo has successfully visited the southern states, bringing a significant sense of peace, which is not a surprise as he visited the five major states to discuss and inquire on what they need and what they would prefer to be done. This is considered a powerful move in forming peaceful movement forward for the nation entirely. This is apart from the appointment Oshimbajo confirmed alongside successfully chairing the FEC meetings. Oshimbajo seems to be doing an excellent job as Nigerians aren't really as bothered as to how the absence or presence of the president would affect the economy. In fact, some majorities are of the opinion that perhaps the president should consider returning to the UK and continue resting to November 2019. That's where we draw the golden curtain on Talking Points today. I'm Sam Adidurin Kubi for African Free Press Television. For more information, check our website at www.africanfreepress.com. Thanks for watching.